eight of the cutest dog breeds that'll make you go, aww. Words can't express how loyal and loving man's best friend truly is. A dog will greet you with a big smile and a wagging tail each time you walk in the door, or quietly sit by your side in support when you're feeling your absolute lowest. Maybe this is why dog owners actually live longer, according to a new study involving over 3 million people. Pups provide you with companionship and joy. The only thing you need to worry about is cuteness overload, especially if you own one of the breeds we're going to talk about today. So consider yourself warned. Here are the cutest of the cuties in the canine world. But before you calibrate your cutometer, go ahead and click on that red subscribe button and ring the notification bell so that you won't miss any of the new stuff coming out daily here on the Bright Side of Life. Okay, back to business. 1. The Pomeranian If you ever see a ball of fluff bouncing towards you, don't be alarmed. That's just a baby Pomeranian happy to see you. These little guys usually don't grow larger than 12 inches tall and you can easily spend the whole day carrying your pet around with you. They rarely weigh more than 7 pounds. With all this in mind, it's now probably hard to believe that these tiny animals used to herd reindeer and pull sleds. And did you know that Pomeranians come in 23 different colors? Black, chocolate, beaver, saber, white, or orange. You can pick any shade to your liking. Whatever color you choose, you'll have yourself a fiercely protective companion in a bite-sized package. Your little watchdog won't let anyone sneak up on you unnoticed. Pomeranian moms can give birth to twins, and if you think that's no great feat, you should know that it's one of the rarest phenomena in the dog world. Palm twins have separate embryonic sacs but share one umbilical cord. The Pomeranian is even known to have inspired great artists. According to one legend, when Michelangelo was painting the ceiling of the Sistine Chapel, his pet Pomeranian was relaxing on a silk pillow nearby and watching his master work. 2. The Sharpe As soon as you set your eyes on a baby Sharpe, your heart will be stolen forever. Maybe the magic is in all those sweet wrinkles. Also, a Sharpe will always choose your company over that of other dogs. Canine experts compare living with this roly-poly to sharing your home with an inquisitive, vigorous, and intelligent friend. Sharpeys have a lifespan of about 8 to 10 years and don't get much bigger than a shoulder height of 20 inches. And it won't be impossible to carry this dog if such a necessity arises. They're rarely heavier than 60 pounds. People originally bred Sharpays to be so wrinkled as protection against other animals' attacks. The more wrinkles, the better defense a dog had against bites. In ancient China, they were used in hunting and later, sadly enough, in dogfighting. They were even popular in the Roman Empire as combat dogs, marching into battle alongside Roman legions. But nowadays, it's hard to imagine this adorable creature as some canine gladiator or frontline soldier. I mean, just look at that face! The only thing that comes to mind is, how cute! 3. The Cavalier King Charles Spaniel This floppy-eared little fellow doesn't grow taller than 13 inches and weighs just 14 to 18 pounds, which makes it quite easy to take your pet anywhere you go. It's next to impossible to resist the charm of those big brown eyes and flowing fur. Judging from the name of this breed, it has to be somehow connected with royalty, right? Well, the Cavalier King Charles is, in fact, a rather new breed, but its predecessor, the Toy Spaniel, was incredibly popular in the 16th to 18th centuries. It did indeed lie around in royal beds and decorate receptions of nobility. As for the Cavalier King Charles Spaniel, King Charles II, who gave this breed its name, was so much in love with these cuties that his dogs had access to virtually any building, even the House of Parliament. Cavalier King Charles Spaniels are some of the most sweet-tempered, gentle, and playful creatures. They love nothing more than to snuggle in your lap or on soft, comfortable cushions. At the same time, they can be pretty good runners, too. They love chasing birds, squirrels, chipmunks, or the occasional butterfly. And it's good to let your pup pursue these sorts of playmates because Cavalier Spaniels need a good amount of exercise. Otherwise, they tend to become apathetic and overweight. This polite and peaceful pup is always willing to please, but when you leave your pet alone for too long, they suffer from separation anxiety, which leads to constant barking and destructive behavior. 
4. The Bichon Frise Have you ever seen anything cuter than this white bundle of curly fur? These dogs are fluff balls of personality and a pure delight to have around. They love going places. Whether it's a walk in the park or a weekend out of town, this dog will say, count me in. And taking your Bichon with you isn't a challenge whatsoever. With a weight of 10 to 20 pounds and a maximum height of 12 inches, this pint-sized pooch is the perfect travel companion. Bichon Frises don't require a lot of exercise, making them the perfect pet for the elderly. They're also easy to train. They love pleasing their masters, in exchange for a tasty treat, of course. If you're a first-time dog owner, a Bichon Frise will be your best choice. Just try not to leave these loving creatures alone. They quickly become unhappy and anxious without their human, and their shrill barking will let everyone in the neighborhood know about it. 5. The Papillon Just look at those ears! If they don't make you go, aww, then I don't know what can. In fact, their outstanding butterfly-shaped ears earn the breed its name. Papillon means butterfly in French. Paps are considered a toy breed, and that's pretty understandable given the fact that they only grow as tall as 8 to 11 inches and are no heavier than 10 pounds. But if you hope that this fluffy beauty will spend days on end curled in your lap, you're in for a huge disappointment. These pups have tons of energy and need constant activity so that they don't get bored. If you fail to entertain your pooch, be ready for a ruined home and incessant barking. Try interactive games and agility exercises. This breed can't get enough of them. As long as you manage to keep your papillon occupied, you'll find that this dog is surprisingly low maintenance. They feel good in cold and hot weather and can easily live in both private houses and apartments. They don't even need any special assistance when giving birth to a litter of tiny butterfly-eared pups. 6. The French Bulldog The two main features of a French Bulldog are its wrinkly, smushed-in face and its large bat ears. Hmm, doesn't exactly sound like a cutie, does it? Well, when this is the face of one very affectionate dog, these traits become absolutely irresistible. French Bulldogs don't usually grow taller than 12 inches, and their average weight is about 20 pounds. These dogs make some of the best companions. They're usually well-behaved and easy to handle. But this dog needs all your attention and loves to be in the spotlight. Such a pet will feel perfectly happy indoors and doesn't require tons of exercise. A couple of 15-minute walks will be all your pup needs. Training a Frenchie can be a challenge, though. They tend to be stubborn and quickly lose interest if an activity seems boring to them. But you'll instantly forget all the difficulties as soon as you see this sweetie pie happily curled up on the sofa, snoring away. 7. The Pug if you're a pug owner, you know that it's almost impossible to take your dog for a walk without it being bombarded by admirers. Growing no taller than 14 inches at the shoulder and usually weighing between 14 and 18 pounds, these big-eyed, wrinkle-faced dogs are cute in their own special way. But the best description of a pug would be lots of dog in a little bit of space. They're full of energy and extremely fun-loving. They've earned the nickname Shadows thanks to their habit of literally gluing themselves to their owners. These little pooches can be pretty stubborn, but by no means are they aggressive. When they aren't napping, which, let's be honest, they spend most of their time doing, they're eager to run, play, and, well, eat. Lazy by nature, pugs don't need a lot of activity. A leisure walk every day will be enough to keep your pup healthy. Sadly, that adorable pushed-in snout of theirs is also the reason why pugs are prone to breathing problems. They're simply unable to draw in deep and long breaths, which is why they often sniffle when they run. This peculiarity also makes them poor swimmers and not particularly fond of flying by plane. By the way, did you know that the most desirable and perfect tail of a pug has two full curls? Hmm, I don't know about you, but they're all perfect to me. Eight. The Chow Chow If you love plenty of fluff, a Chow Chow is exactly what you need. Unlike the others on today's list, this is a pretty big dog, but that doesn't make it any less cute. The biggest representatives of this breed can grow as tall as 20 inches and weigh up to 75 pounds. So, of course, this fluff ball will definitely be a challenge to carry around. The most remarkable feature of the Chow Chow? 
other than its off-the-charts fluff factor is its unique blackish-blue tongue. The most curious thing is that puppies are born with ordinary pink tongues that later become much darker. What's more, Chow Chows have 44 teeth, while all other dogs can boast only 42. If you treat a Chow Chow with love, you'll get a deeply attached and loyal companion and guardian. The sweet fluffiness of this breed can make you forget that these dogs were actually bred to be aggressive. This makes the Chow Chow fiercely protective of its family and property. That's why it may be a good idea to contemplate your first instinct to pet this cutie if you see it on the street. Shall we take a vote on the cutest dog in this video? Write your choice in the comments below and let us know why this particular pooch charmed you the most. And if you're a real dog lover whose heart was melting all the way through this video, give us a thumbs up. See you next time on the Bright Side of Life!